my name is Mark Leach of Metasynthesis and I'm the author of the Chemogenesis webbook. This short series of videos concerns Lewis acids, Lewis bases and Lewis acid base interactions, a concept that is extremely useful in understanding chemistry and chemical reactivity. This is the third video in the series and it concerns the Lewis acid base interaction matrix. We're going to give a brief introduction to this object. In the previous video, we saw how the five hydrogen probe experiments generate congeneric arrays of Lewis acids and Lewis bases. We're now going to take these Lewis acids and Lewis bases and we're going to study them further. First, Lewis bases. We can classify the Lewis bases by type. It transpires that there are four general types of Lewis base, where these are classified by frontier molecular orbital topology. First we have the S-HOMO Lewis bases. These are Lewis bases which have a spherical highest occupied molecular orbital, typified by the hydride ion and hydrogen H2. We have complex anion Lewis bases. These are species such as the tetrafluoroborate ion and the hexafluoroantimonate ion. The lobe homo Lewis bases. These are typical lone pair of electron donating species typified by the hydroxide ion and water. And fourthly, we come to the pi homo species. These are electron rich pi systems, such as the allyl anion, ethene, benzene, etc. We can do the same thing with Lewis acids. We can classify these into six types. First, we have the proton H+. The proton is a very special Lewis acid as it is the agent of Bronsted acidity. Indeed, anything that complexes with an H plus ion to produce a conjugate Bronsted acid is a Lewis base. We have the S-LUMO Lewis acid. These are species with spherical closed shells with the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital around them, like an onion skin. These are very common species such as the sodium ion Na+, and the magnesium ion Mg2+. Next we have the onium ions. These are species with hypervalent atoms such as nitrogen in the ammonium ion NH4+, and oxygen in the trimethyl oxonium ion. Low LUMO Lewis acids. These are the typical electron pair acceptor vacant orbital Lewis acids, such as boron trifluoride and carbenium ions, otherwise known as carbocations. Pi LUMO Lewis acids. These are electron poor pi systems, such as the allyl cation. And finally, we have heavy metal Lewis acids. These Lewis acid species can be the metals and they can be the metal cations. Okay, so we have four types of Lewis base and six types of Lewis acid. As we know, a Lewis acid plus a Lewis base gives a Lewis acid base complex. Therefore, our four types of Lewis base and six types of Lewis acid can give an array of 24 types of complexation chemistry. We're going to see how the Lewis acid base interaction works. We're going to start with the S-LUMO Lewis acids and see how they interact with the lobe LUMO Lewis bases to give type 7 Lewis acid base complexes. The S-LUMO Lewis acids include species such as the lithium cation Li+, the sodium cation Na+, and the potassium cation K+. The lobe homo Lewis bases include species such as the hydroxide ion OH-, the nitrine ion NH2-, and the methyl anion CH3-. These cations and these anions interact to give type 7 Lewis acid base complexes. Indeed, many of the proton abstracting Bronsted bases used in chemistry are type 7 complexes. For example, potassium hydroxide, sodamide, NaNH2, and methyl lithium, where methyl lithium is a superbase. 
When we look at the Lewis acid base interaction matrix, we see that it shows many types of reaction chemistry. Type 1, 2, 3, and 4 complexes all involve complexation with the proton H, and so this involves Bronsted acid chemistry. Reactions with hydrogen and hydride iron, S Lumo Lewis bases, involves reduction. In the middle of the interaction matrix, type 6, 7, 10, and 11, we see main group chemistry. Organic chemistry occupies a large swathe of the matrix, type 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, and 20. Classic inorganic chemistry involving transition metals involves type 22 and type 23 chemistry. Organometallic chemistry is seen with type 8 complexes and also with type 24 complexes. Let's have a look at a couple of these in a little more detail. The S Lumo Lewis acid Na interacts with the S Homo Lewis base to give sodium hydride. Sodium hydride is used as a base, a strong proton abstractor in organic chemistry, and it is used as a nucleophile in inorganic chemistry. If we look at the interaction of heavy metal Lewis acids with pi homo Lewis bases, for example, palladium and the allyl cation, we see pi organometallic complexes, such as the allyl palladium chloride dimer. And if we look at the interaction of pi lumo Lewis acids with pi homo Lewis bases, we get classic Diels Alder type cycloaddition chemistry. Indeed, we can go through all of the complexation chemistries from 1 to 24. We'll be doing this in the next video. Thank you very much for listening.